Ooh, welcome to the ladder hour. 6.5k Zerg is our first opponent. Hello guys, welcome, welcome. As we go into the oxide of the magnificent current map pool that we all have had enough of. We're going to be playing a Zerg on oxide. Actually, this is the map that I have not played the most recently, it feels like, versus Zerg. It feels like I've been playing much more like Pillars of Gold, Jaganafa and so on. So I'm really happy to, to play on Oxide finally. 6.5 Zerg is actually quite high. So I'm very interested in uh, seeing who this is going to be. Uh, I will definitely be opening up with a, with a Stargate. I think I'll... Uh, I will go for uh, a, um, a little bit of harassment with maybe... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of either going into a Void Ray, Triple Void Ray or Triple Oracle. Not necessarily anything else. Oh, slight mistake on the gas and I didn't get to block the hatchery. Not the biggest of deals, but it's something. Mm, I think in that case I will go for Triple Oracle. I will uh, have more, uh, more room to maneuver around, like with the Void Rays I will uh, have to have the Zerg kind of split. You know, around the bases would have been maybe better. So let's go for the oracles. Ba -ba -ba, okay. Triple oracle, maybe triple gate. Can we do that? What is he doing? Is he scouting for? He's scouting for like cannons. <laughs> That's sweet. That's a it's a good scout. It's safe. Like for all he knows, this might be actual cannons. But he went with the drone around to uh, probably take a third at around this time. Okay, same for a pylon. We're gonna be opening up a stargate before the warp gate. That way it saves us a little bit of mining time of the gas to speed up the oracle harassment. It also saves us time with the unit uh, production from the strike if in case you are going to be like all end. By the time you are like all end by a Zerg from on like one base, two base, well it's definitely two base this time. Uh, you will have a target unit on time before the Zerg arrives. But the downside is that the Zerg will 99% of the time know this is a target build because you are delaying the warp gate by a lot and it can spot it with the overlord, right? So that gas that you had for the warp gate has to go somewhere else. And since Stargate is the most expensive from the gas uh, of all the techs, that means it's definitely going to be a Stargate. Well, definitely, it's like 99% because you can try to mine Kim's Zerg, right? It's possible. He immediately goes back with the, with the Overlord, which is quite... I'm quite curious about this, that he's uh, retreating with the Overlord before seeing anything, but that's probably based on what I said, that he knows it's a Stargate and there's no reason to risk the Overlord being uh, killed by the, by the uh, uh, Void Ray. So I'll scout around here. Mm, clear a link that is possibly here. It's not. <clears throat> okay, very well, let's go. Okay, there's the link. He's skipping link speed, I have a feeling. I'll uh, move across the map again. I'll go for the gases actually in the meantime. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. Not so bad, not bad. More pr uh, pylons. Okay, the Oracle now. Oh! He doesn't have a spore ready. Okay, this is good damage already. I'm a bit worried that he might be just attacking me, so I'll go for the Robo before the third base. He had a lot of links there, so I'll have the second Oracle aid me. Oh no! Oh, okay. Well, it's not bad. Okay. But I think we have to guard the. Is he? Is he really going to be trying to snipe the probe? There's no way. I think it's highly likely 
Oh, what? You want to sacrifice more lanes for this? Okay. I think it's highly likely he will be uh, making swarm hosts. Really? Okay. I think he has one transfusion here. No, he doesn't. Okay, let's let's move across the map right now, since he's definitely going to be making units soon. But we want to clear some of the creep at the moment. I will add additional gateways mm, and probably charge. Nice, de nice defense there. from his side uh, against the. Wait, there's barely any creeps, but what the hell? Okay, maybe we scare them off. Okay. Oh, oh no 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 no. This is not good. This is no good, guys. Please leave me alone. Oh, I lost way too many probes here. That was not worth. What? Roaches? I guess I kind of forced him to go roaches, right? With the move out. But he's not going to be committing there, I think. Yeah, he's just faking. That creep threat is very low. We can definitely move across the map in order to find some damage. We don't necessarily have to commit. Oh, I forgot to charge. Okay. It's a big mistake. Nice, he's defending all the harassments very well with the oracle yeah that's the infestation pit okay this one was not his good i think i'm gonna go for disruptors against oh my god i'm supply block for a long time for a long time Good start. No. No, 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 no. Okay. We're just putting our defenses together. I'm a bit afraid that I don't see the swarm house anywhere. It must be here, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, this is fine. It's gonna be, well, that's a good landing of the locust, not gonna lie. Mm, the surface area was very low for me. Can I go blink now? Should I? I think it's a very good game by me so far. I'm really proud of the way that I have played this. But it's far from over, of course. It's a spire from his side. It's a big shot. He's going to do fly. Shit, he's flanking me. Yeah, we cannot afford that. One Archon is not so bad. Could have been much worse. But we need to get... We need to retreat. I need to kill this cannon. I need to be in position. But that buys me enough time. For, uh, for the disruptor to recharge and do more stuff. Okay, this is good. Okay. 
That's a lot of zealots. This is not good. Okay, he's sending all the things right now. We have plus three on the way. That's pretty good. We have to rescue the Archon. Okay, I think it's it would be a good time to prepare for the Muta switch, the inevitable Muta switch. Juicy hits. Mm, I don't want to lose the arc or so. Okay, I think I'm fine. Well, unless... Wait, he killed all of the pros here. Yeah, maybe I'm not fine. Wait. Hello? I forgot to saturate the fourth. He's just going for it, isn't he? Does he have if he has a fourth there, I'm in trouble. If, if he doesn't, I'm fine. He has. Okay, barely any mining, so at least that's going for me. Let's just make a lot of phoenixes, shall we? We still have the fourth online, which is good. Mm, the bad thing is I don't have any frontline anymore. No immortals, no disruptors. I, I kind of carelessly dealt with the uh, walking up the ramp. It was not necessary. I think he will just be massing roaches right now. Mm. I wish he didn't kill that <laughs> oracle. It'll make my life much, much easier. Okay, we need to just rethink what to do. I think mass phoenixes is not going to be that bad. Carriers wouldn't be that bad either. But I think we're just both kind of just recreating our army. There he is. That's a big army. Ok, 
Okay, I think we can saturate this base now. Oh, he has like very good creep thread. We need to get rid of this creep thread. Couple of batteries. We should be fine. Okay, we have first carriers out. He's gonna be massing corruptors, yeah. That's what I thought. I think it's somewhat fine. Since I have a good protection for the carriers, right? I also still have the blink stalkers. I didn't hotkey this place. It's gonna be attacking from one of the sides, but I don't know which one. Still has a swarm was left alive. Storm would be one nice to have, to be honest, instead of the disruptor. <clears throat> I think I'm in a fantastic position at the moment, you know. If I had to give myself a rating right now, like oh, hello mutas. Like I think I would win nine out of ten games if I was in this position. But maybe, maybe, maybe it's going to slow down a bit. Forgot plus two. Uh, we can do some harassment, I think. And move out once I have storm. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, maybe we cannot do any harassment. Okay, what? <laughs> These probes are not mining. Okay, I can definitely do something here. Uh, okay, we still have plus. Storm is about to finish. Okay, I think I want to set up a big harassment and then move across the map. Like unless he has big corruptor count and 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 something else to defend him, like lurkers or something, there should be no problem. Templars, kind of alone here. Oh, he's gonna be doing fungal corrosive pile to defend. Okay. It's something, but I think my armor is so much stronger. Get rid of the investors. Can we do this? Maybe not. Okay, this is not this is not bad. By all means. It was a good engagement from him. Oh, ultra spot. Okay, well, this is awkward. But he has no bases left to mine. So it doesn't matter he has Ultras now. He has nothing to mine from. While well, I have my side of the map entirely. So what's my way to lose now? Is to take a very careless engagement. And I'm definitely capable of doing that. <laughs> I'm a master of careless engagements. 
an actual master. If you want to learn how to throw games, call me. Okay, let's just use the Templars to uh, clear some of the creep, it's a bit annoying. What the f freaking fuck? Okay, he has a lot of brutalers. How is this possible? No, 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 no. run away. What? I guess we go Tempest, though, no? No. I am so amazed that he has just so much money. Maybe we can kill some drones with the Oracle, that would be nice. Maybe not losing my economy to two Zerglings would be nice too. That's... Okay, he still has nothing here. This is his only thing. I mean, the good thing for him is that he has a very low su drone supply. So whenever he tries to take an engagement, he will have a very high army supply. Because of the, of the low drone count, right? I don't have enough fingers for all the bases I have now. Rip. Okay. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Let's try to get rid of some of the probes, maybe also the zealots. Yeah, zealots would be nice to get rid of. I want some archons now. I guess he's sacrificing this. I guess we can do something here. Like my army is really crap, I think. But we want to avoid the freaking fungals. Um. He's doing it well, buying time, like pretending he's strong. I think I'm still very far ahead, but again I forgot about upgrades. Space trade. I don't mind this. And this is a very wrong decision by him. I think. I'm not sure why he separated the broodlord. There's no way. The only way he can win the fight is with the broodlords. So why give yourself the chance of throwing the game away? He, he brought it back pretty nicely, like overall I didn't feel as confident as I said that I would win like 9 out of 10 games. Oof. Yeah, but overall just uh, I think I played it very well. <laughs> I'm giving myself praise. You know, sometimes it's just good to be proud of yourself, you know. Give yourself a, a pat on the back whenever you play well, but also be humble when you lose, because you know you can do better. <laughs> I like this. I, I, I like this game. It, like my control was a little bit off. It's like this army control here, the almost a throw. But overall, I think it's a fairly good, uh, fairly good game by me. Sweet game number one, victory. And we have game number two. Oh, we are actually closing in on six point eight MMR. And our gatekeeper for six k eight six point eight MMR is going to be Hero Marine. I have defeated him a couple of the times on the ladder off stream. But it was more of a, you know, somewhat of a lucky win. I, I, I wouldn't say I 
you know, I crushed him. Oh, I'm so much better than Kiro Marina. Oh, no, no, no. I am so much better than Kiro. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's always a tough match versus him. I feel like, even on the latter hours, we had a couple of episodes where he just crushed me, you know? It was not even close. So I'm looking for redemption. We play on Oxide yet again. I, I think this map was supposed to be so much worse than I thought it is, but it's not as good <laughs> yeah, as well. Like, it's... Uh, I, I feel like I can have good games here, but also very horrible games, and I can blame it on the map. Any anytime I want, you know. <laughs> I think Oxide is as as standard as it looks. It does create some uncomfortable situations for both the sides, for all the players. I think all matchups. Okay, I'm thinking about uh, doing a. Uh, a blink opener with uh, probably two gateways and a robo. I could transition into a four gate, but I have not decided on that yet. And I have failed my probe micro. Kiron is really good at this. Um, keeping the probe away from blocking the command center. He's very good at it. I think he might be going for a bunker now though. No, okay. Whenever you don't have a pylon in the natural, Terrans are very eager to put a bunker behind your middle line because there's very little that you can do to defend. As a Protoss player, you, you cannot have a, um, a a shield battery, right? Straight away to reinforce, you need to create a pylon first. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be sick, actually, to have a, a power field from the next... What? That's so fast. I want to say, wouldn't it be great to have a power field from the Nexus? I would love that. Oh no, wow, please, leave it, leave it, leave it! Leave it! Oh my god, son of a... Get over here. Leave it! Oh my god, this guy won HP! Okay, well, that was as bad of a start as I possibly can have. That way, I will not be able to take a very early third. I'll go scout around, my gas is delayed. That triple did a lot of damage, was fantastic control by him. It's really hard to control adepts against the Reaper, even though Reapers die very quickly, because they free shot the Reaper. Um, they just outmaneuver their adepts quite easily. Okay, so he goes in again. I think I'll just go for a four gate now, to be honest. I don't think I can play a, a proper macro game out of it. Right? Like it's, I'm just too far behind. Let's go four gate then. Okay, he's gonna spot it. Doesn't matter. No. I'm gonna start with an observer then. Hmm. Wait, so he spots the well he spotted the three gates, but he can suspect it's a four gate blink. He could think it's DTs, but to be honest, unlikely. From the timing of the gateways, he can kind of tell that. Mm. I'm a bit unsure about what to do uh, in order to win, but I think uh, staying on two bases for the time being, warping some stalkers to not lose any more damage uh, to not take any more damage would be a good approach. Mm, I would be expecting a medevac with like Widow Mine soon ish. I definitely want to get that warp in. Unless he stays defensive, which is possible too. This is really bad to be honest. Okay, well, at least I lost one probe only. Oh, you mother! Son of a mother! <laughs> well done. Where's my observer? It's here, okay. It's not so bad. Okay, at least the adepts can take her off. Wow. He just killed it. Like that. 
he's good, guys. Get the tank. Get the tank, please. Please get the tank. Thank you. Okay, that's really good. Good diversion. In the main. Now I think I can actually do a lot of damage here. I think I can... Maybe... Oh! Oh, he brought the medivac back! Nice! It's over, isn't it? Okay, one more warp. No, wait, no. We take a third. We are playing smart now. damage he has no tanks he must have tanks yeah it's a bit of a yolo move by me now maybe not worth it maybe very much so not worth it but on the other hand if I can get rid of, get rid of the tank count And the, uh, the follow-up push is not going to be as strong, but I lost a lot of freaking stalkers there. Wait, you stay. Okay, maybe maybe it's time to just, you know, chill. Chill for a second. We don't have to do everything now. Maybe just wait up for the push. He still has a raven, that kind of worries me. Definitely dropping me. No. What just happened here? Why am I losing this game? What? So Colossi are just terrible versus tanks? I guess the, the reason why I lost is the Raven, right? And well, the position here. I let him be here. I didn't think he was making more tanks. GG. I think I was in a fantastic position to defend this. I think my or e supply should be equal. I was even ahead in supply. I should never lose this, lose this game. But because my army was split in two, 
And I cannot defend both of the ramps, I can only defend one of the ramps, which is would be the left one with the force fields. I didn't see him moving out of this with the tanks. Mm. Yeah, this was a very good situation for me to be in. That supply block kind of hurt. Oh, he couldn't have two disables now. I didn't notice the energy. I feel like he could have stemmed in immediately. But the tanks that he sieged up here were crucial. They bought so much time. Like if I if I have one of these sentries, one of these sentries here, I can force field this round before he tries to stem in. Because I, I, I can survive with two Colossi here. And that's a very scary attack. His army supply is slightly ahead. But I was just slightly out of position. This is so difficult to defend this position. Because you have to defend this and this. And you have no shield battery in this range because of the ramps. It's very, very interesting. Well done. Well done, GG. But I think we recovered quite nicely after the Reaper though. <laughs> Look at the resource collection rate. This is the Reaper killing the probes. This is him being ahead for the entirety of the game. And then the Widow Mine drop happening ahead to pull. But yeah, overall I had a big advantage later on. Ah. You know, sometimes it's just like this. Sometimes just the minor mistakes happen. But positioning your army is one of the crucials, uh, crucial knowledge in uh, PVT or overall just as a process. I think positioning is the is the, is the most important part when uh, fighting. GG. Well, we have a rematch versus here, Marine. Then maybe we can improve upon that positioning. Maybe if we actually go for the 4-gate blink again, but this time we would go uh, Templars instead of Colossi. Maybe that would be better. I wonder. Versus tanks, definitely it would be better. Versus Raven, also uh, somewhat better. But then the anti-armor missile can be a big problem. Well, well, well. There are just so many factors that we have to take into account. You know, when playing Starcraft, just the amount of knowledge. The amount of knowledge, guys. But yeah, it's okay. I've been playing this game for 10 years. And more. 11 years, actually. And I'm still learning, so... Don't worry. If you're still learning and you're losing, I'm still losing as well. It's all that I... I do enjoy playing versus Hero Marine though. The reason being he's just like so good. It's similar to like when you play against Showtime. Sometimes like no matter how ahead can you, uh, you can be, he will like the pure mechanics, the the ability of play the game, the knowledge of his game and so on, and the approach to the matchup makes him a very tough opponent. Because he he rarely goes for like a YOLO move, meaning that he will not take risks, unnecessary risks. His play is always like very, very strong. You know? It's difficult to do what he does, but he does it very well. Okay, this time we made a slightly different opening. We uh, open up with a gas, instead of no gas as in the previous game. Let's see if we're going to be losing some... <laughs> some probes to the Reaper again. Okay, I want to go Stargate. I don't know. I, I felt like I, I, I forgot the warp gate immediately, so I'm like, okay, let's use that gas for the Stargate. Did he go for the Reaper or not? He hasn't arrived yet. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Hero Marine. What are you up to? Show me. Show me your cards. Here comes Joker. Yeah, that is the Joker. Reveal me your cards. That's not how Joker works, right? Oh my goodness. I hate how he ends. They're so annoying to play with. Play against, sorry. They're not annoying to play with. 
Yeah, but I think it might be a proxy starport even. I'm gonna go Oracle. Maybe I'm playing a dangerous game here. Maybe not. I'll go double battery now. You haven't seen this. Haven't seen anything, man. Hello. There's a mine there. Very good, very good stuff, my friends. Now to only drive away the freaking hellion that is parking somewhere. Can we actually go? I'm a bit worried that maybe I'm too YOLO now. In a sense that... Mm, there might be widow mine somewhere hidden, I'm not sure. Oh, hello! This is good. This is very good. But I am not allowed to lose any economy now. Okay, this is very good. He has nothing. Destroyed him this game. Complete destruction, guys. The, the, the uh, German Panzer. All right, man. Come on. It's time. GG. Out of my game. I mean, that's wow. We lost only seven units. I'm especially happy with the way that I have defended against the. Uh, the widow mine drop that was happening during the uh, during the harassment, right? Like I had to be looking here, I had to be revel uh, revel revelating, revelating. What's the name? It's called revelation. So revelating all the widow mines, then positioning my adepts behind the stalkers, so the widow mines don't shoot. Activate slowly the, the the oracles in a good manner, and then try to look for the potential drop, right, with the widow mines. And I didn't lose any additional probes. So for like he lost like what six widow mines. In my middle lines and they killed only seven probes sweet gg i'm happy with this I, i'm happy with the way i played uh, and it's it, it's it's okay to be happy right it's okay to be happy to, to with your performance we are almost touching 6.6.8 mmr but this is going to be it for today's episode a little bit shorter than an hour but that's just the amount of time that i had right now and i, I think the games were quite enjoyable even though they were somewhat short the first game was very pretty good i think and I would guess that was Bly, uh, if I had to guess. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Ladder Hour. Let me know in the comments what you think. And smash that like button, subscribe. Try to grow the channel with me, help me. And I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one.